Well, here's something I didn't expect. I don't know, can you see that blue of the uh, copper sulfur out there? But can you see that piling up of um, what looks like powdery charcoal? Now, the, this was all put in with lumps, as you can probably see. Now, it seems to be, and if you look closely, which I probably can't do unless I put this on, on uh, super macro, but there's little particles continually falling down. Very small amounts, you can, I can actually, I picked it up straight away, but you know, it's only small amounts, and in one, in one day it's accumulated that amount. Whereas on this one over here, with the, um, the chalk and the charcoal, there's very little, if, if any at all, really, it's negligible compared to this. So there's a major difference straight away. It looks like the copper can actually break up the charcoal and break up the, the structure of the charcoal and that brings in the, the, the concept of entropy of course structure you know the entropy part of the Gibbs uh, free energy equation because a lot of reactions actually run off of entropy so uh, yes they don't give out heat or take in heat but they change their structure which is where the energy is of course okay Interesting, very interesting indeed. Didn't expect that at all. Okay, over and out.